What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. In today's reaction video, I'm going to be checking out a band for the very first time that not only came from suggestions from you guys, but also from my dad. And for those of you that follow the channel, you know that my dad has been diving into rabbit holes and discovering other stuff too. And he's been sending a lot of it to me and he thought I would like this. And I don't know much about this band. I know they're another Italian band. I know that their drummer is also in Windrose. And I know that their bass player is also in Neobliviscaris. So I'm expecting something really awesome. Sound wise, metal. That's, I don't know what subgenre we're gonna get into but it's probably gonna be metal. So, I will link this video in the description below. And today, for the very first time, I am gonna be listening to Ancient Bards with the music video for their song, Impious Dystopia. Let's go. Symphonic metal? Wow, <laughs> some pretty overwhelmingly powerful symphonic metal. Um, some cool visuals going on in this, man. Um, I like when it's showing the shots of the band. They've got some flares burning in the background. They've probably got what I'm imagining are just little pots or little bowls that have some fire in them. Really cool visuals. And I noticed something. I don't know if it was something that was added as an after effect in video production, but when it showed the keyboard player, he had like, you could see his breath coming out. So wherever they're filming this, I'm imagining the parts where they're outside is either cold out or they added it in post-production. I'm not sure. Pretty cool though. Let's keep going. This is a cool looking video. Oh! Base run. So really cool effect I just saw, it was showing the person with their hands like on fire. They actually make pyrotechnic gel that you can put um, on your body. They usually do it special effects in movies for body burns. 
And I've never used it, and I've never been on a set where anybody has used it, but I was told by another pyrotechnician that when that's used, you actually kind of have to go through training for it because there's a bizarre effect, like a mental effect, that even though the gel is safe and it won't harm you, your mind sees you on fire. And even though you really can't feel it because the gel is protecting you, your brain freaks out. So there's some people, some pyrotechnicians and special effects people that have tried to do this that can't because their brain goes into a mental state of chaos because they think they should feel like they're burning and they're not. Super cool. Um, gear wise so far, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little lost. Uh, there's only one guitar I recognize and it's probably because it's an ESP guitar. Um, one of their guitar players is rocking an LTD thought it was an h at first but i think it's an mh series uh the m series have a flat top the mh's kind of have some curvature to the body and that one looks like it's got some curvature and it looks like a seven string as well um but everything else i'm a little lost right now so i'll, I'll try and catch up Dude, those bass runs going on are sick. Oh. Okay, before we're, we're gonna get a guitar solo there. I don't think I would expect anything less from a bass player that also plays for Neo Bliv, but holy shit, dude. It's the kind of bass player that makes me think I never got good at all, like when I was playing bass in a band. I don't know what kind of bass that is. I don't. Uh, my first thought was it might be a Kessel. Um, but I was looking to the normal spot where they have their logo on the guitar and I didn't see it. Um, if I had to guess Italian band, well, if this guy plays for Neo Bliv, he might not be Italian. Could be Australian. I don't know. Um, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's a small boutique company that I'm not familiar with. Probably a fully custom guitar. Um, as far as the keyboard player... I don't have a ton of keyboard knowledge, but I noticed he's playing a Roland X series or the Phantom X. I don't know which one. I just know it's from that series. Um, and we'll continue after the solo. After that bass solo, I'm expecting the guitar players in this to just shred as well. So let's go. Oh, let's go. Dude, everybody's ripping a solo. This is another one of these bands that when I get deeper to listen to their music, I'm just going to be like, how do you get so good? <laughs> um, so the guitar player that was just playing the lead, I also don't know what kind of guitar that is. The headstock does not look familiar. The logo on the headstock does not look familiar. Again, if I had to guess, probably a custom, uh, fully custom from a boutique guitar company. Um God, I was hoping I didn't have to do a lot of research for this one, but I think I'm going to because <laughs> I've got two guitars now for sure, guitar and bass, that I don't know what they are. But I'll learn something new, so that's rad. Uh, let's keep going.
was a Phantom X7 keyboard. She's got a voice. didn't get to see the battle uh i didn't talk about drums so we'll talk about that later i think that's it let's go talk about it so as i just said at the end i didn't get to talk about any of the drums in that which is fine because i didn't get any good looks at it and i had no idea what he was playing there was no logos on any of the front of the kick drum heads it was just their logo i'm assuming couldn't see the brand of the symbols, so I've got some research to do on that. And when I just saw him in the Windrose video, I couldn't pick out his gear on that one either, so I'm gonna have a lot of research on this guy to do. But that video was great, man. Um, looked great. The special effects were killer. I absolutely enjoyed it. A lot of little pyro things going on that were super cool, and I liked the contrast between the light and the dark and everything that was going on in the video. It was super great. Got to see the whole band, got to see him playing, got to see all the gear, even though I didn't know what half of it was. But I enjoyed it, man. Uh, a band like this, honestly, might not be something that I turn on every single day. But when I'm just looking for something that's just f off talent, unreal good, this is something I'm going to be listening to, man. These guys are great, and I'm definitely going to want to listen to more. And I would definitely pay to go see this live. So, thank you guys for recommending this. Thank you, Dad, for recommending this. I want more, so drop some comments below. Let me know what other songs I should check out especially if there's some cool live performances. And if this is your first time here, feel free to click subscribe. I release new videos almost every day of the week, so if you turn the alerts on, you'll be notified the second new stuff comes out. If you liked this video, I would greatly appreciate the like. And if you disliked it, no big deal. Click dislike, move on. I'm also on a ton of different social media. I even have a Discord server that I will link below. And I also stream on Twitch all the time, so if you give me a follow on there as well, You'll be notified when I go online. It's super fun. We play games. We just hang out and talk. It's great. My handle on everything social media related is at Tank the Tech. Thank you once again for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.